Greetings, Gaslanders! Welcome to the Wasteland, and me, your host, Matt Reeve, for this month's Gaslands UK Facebook group Car of the Month Challenge. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. For those who've never watched one of these videos before, you're in for some thrills and spills and creative chills. For those of you who are regulars, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking with me, and uh, thanks for some terrific feedback from last month's video. Really flattered, very nice, uh, and glad you came back for some more. Of course, this is the bit that everybody skips, because I get to see the statistics, so for those that skip... Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelt of elderberries! So there's a couple of admin announcements I think we'd like to make this month. The first of which is, this, this competition has been running for two and a half years. This is the original car of the month. Hashtag C-O-T-M challenge. There may be others. There may be imitators out there. Still, this is the original, the one, the only Gaslands UK Car of the Month challenge. We have terrific prizes from six different sponsors, sometimes seven, depending on what happens. We ship internationally. This is an international competition. There's been a bit of confusion there. People thinking you could only join if you live in the UK. You can't come and join our Facebook group. It's called Gaslands UK just to differentiate it between the main Gaslands group. But there's nearly 2,000 people in the Gaslands UK group. We're a very friendly bunch, very supportive community. And we have this competition open to everyone. And of course, we are the only Gaslands monthly challenge to have this terrific video. Of course, hosted by yours truly. So, come and join us. Let's see what this month's challenge is going to be. Who is this month's sponsor, I hear you cry? It is, from roll please, Green Miniatures. Green Miniatures are a production company based out of Poland with a range called Mad Cars that consists of some very high quality crew members for your Gaslands conversions, various different uh, post-apocalyptic vehicles they do, and of course all the greeblies, guns, gubbins, wheels and barrels that you may need. They've also got Scooby-Doo, if you want that as your character, and they've got Mad Max characters from Mad Max 2. And of course, some nice pirates, if you've got a pirate team. Arr. This month, our judge and sponsor is Marcin from Green Miniatures. And he has very generously offered six sets to the lucky first place winner from the Mad Cars line. That's worth £65 or $90. US dollars. In second place, he's offering four sets, four blister packs from the Mad Cars range. That's worth £40 or $60. US dollars, €50 Euros if you're from the UK, EU. And third place, three sets. £30 worth or $45 in value. Now, you can't quibble with that. How generous is that as a prize? Fantastic. What's the theme this month? What have the sponsors chosen to twist your creative minds? Well, bring on the camper van. Run VT. It's the B29 Super Fortress. That giant aluminium phallus invented at the end of the Second World War to be one of the most sophisticated flying bombers the American Air Force had ever produced. At the time, the B-29 had state-of-the-art technology, which includes a pressurised cabin, dual-wheeled tricycle landing gear, and the icing on the cake, analogue computer-controlled fire control system that allowed one gunner and a fire control officer to direct four remote control machine gun turrets. So that meant, for the first time ever, if the enemy fired on your guns, they weren't killing your gunner. They were sat in a different part of the vehicle. The B-29, of course, is also infamously remembered as the aircraft that dropped the nuclear weapons on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during the Second World War, ultimately killing many, many hundreds of thousands of people, but arguably ending the conflict between Japan and America. 
you can't get more dystopian than that, really. So, who's taking part this month? Well, we had about 14 people kick off who entered, but unfortunately, some of those fell by the wayside. Um, commiserations to James Featherstone, Ricky Williams, Fred Wyver, and Marcus Andis, who couldn't make it. But who did? Colin Hagreen, Daryl Buckmaster, David Bousset, Ian Barham, Mathieu Mintrak, Matt Andrews, Paul Chapman Moss, Richard Hubbard, Stephen Griffith Orr, Tony Peacock, and Scott Howland. So, to kick us off this month, we have Colin Hagreen. Now, Colin has based his build on an old fashioned American school bus and he's converted it to look very aluminium, which is perfect for the B-29. Now, you've got to remember, aluminium rusts. It doesn't actually rust. It oxidises in a different way, and I think Colin has pulled that off perfectly in the weathering of this build. Now, look at that turret on the back. Any ideas what that is? That's a scratch-built turret. It's made from a toothbrush head case. Brilliant. Lovely bit of scratch building there. There's some nice little tensions to detail. We've got this beautiful little... Is it hand-drawn or is it a transfer? I can't quite tell, but there's a saucy lady showing off her stockings there. And Colin's build comes armed with this massive bomb, complete with its own Batman-style sound effect on a rotating crane arm, and that's going to do a lot of damage. Great team there. Well done, Colin. And another first-time entrant here, Daryl Buckmaster. And what a monster he's made. Literally, out of multiple monster trucks, he's mounted this giant plane fuselage filled it with gun turrets, is jet powered, so not quite along the lines of our turboprop B-29, but still it's going to give it a lot of force and power, and this fantastic, fantastic Rusty's bootlegger style trailer. Yeehaw! I can see your cellulite, girl! And there's old Zeke, he's got the big minigun, and America! Mm -mm. Some more of that later. Some nice rusting technique that Daryl's used. Lots of character, covered in skulls, like every good Gaslands build should be. Uh, that's a terrific, solid job. Well done. So the next car out for presentation is first-time entrant David Bousset, and what a beautiful job he's done. It's a Plymouth Superbird, and some beautiful 3D printed details he's attached to this. A uh, giant Fat Man style nuclear bomb on a carriage on the back. That beautiful ball turret with 360 degrees of rotation. A uh, radial engine under the bonnet. Some crew members, some punky crew members in the front. Uh, some lovely barbed wire there. And look, it's an F bomb. He's dropping an F bomb. But don't ride this F bomb because look on the back, there's a warning sign telling you not to get on it. But more of that later. Some terrific details here, David. Lovely paint job. Uh, something you should be very much proud of. Well done. And July sees the return of Ian Barham having another go at winning Car of the Month, and this time he's created us a mechanical walker. Look at this one. Go Leela, he's entitled it. Named after the character from the Futurama series. Lovely little bit of painting there, nice bit of freehand work. And all sorts of things have gone into this. There's robot and mecha parts, there's a helicopter in there, there's parts of a plane, there's parts of a toy gun, and it's all mashed together into this chaos cultist death-dealing walker. I have to go. This is just too freaky. And fantastic. The praying mantis, the giant mantis has made a return. There it is. Love it. Well done, Ian. You've raised the bar from last month. Congratulations. So here we have a build from long-time Car of the Month entrant, Mache Mintrak. And what a beautiful job he's done. This is an old 1970s Badger armoured vehicle. And some lovely details and some beautiful paintwork on here. Superb work on this scratch-built bomb with the cowboy riding it from Stanley Kubrick's Dr. Strangelove. Here he is, what a lunatic. And I think Mathieu 
has uh, encapsulated that perfectly. Some beautiful clean lines in the painting. He's picked out some very nice details there. Some appropriate aluminium weathering going on. Some US Air Force decals he's attached. B-26 turret he's attached on the back. Which I think just finishes off this beautiful, neat, tidy, clean and well-executed build. Excellent work, Maché. Another regular entrant here, Matt Andrews, has returned with his signature trademark, Mud and Rust. We've seen it over many of his builds. He does do mud terrifically well. And here we have a very, very beaten up looking tanker. It's got that beautiful dome on the front. Look, it's like a B-29 has crashed. There it is, there's that front cowling. It's crashed and burned. Has been turned into a tanker with some massive guns on top. So great use of uh, rusting technique there. Well done, Matt. So Paul Chapman Moss has done something very original this month. He has created a vehicle from a caravan. It's a 1971 Airstream double axle Lian Land Yacht Safari by Greenlight Miniatures. And he's called it the Net Demon. <laughs> and I love it. It's it's cute, it's compact, it's got some lovely details inside. We've got these three crew members here, two guys up the front, one in the back who's operating the turret. A really clever use of cable ties, or zip ties as you Americans call them, uh, for the ammo belts in there. That's a nice little trash bash. Looks like some 3D printed parts, some scratch built parts. Nice little details around the cockpit. And um, yeah, something very original and unique. Well done, Paul. Now here is Richard Hubbard's entry, entitled One Mean Puss. And it's a Rusty's Redneck Air Force vehicle. Uh, it's, it's a monster. It's an absolute monster. We've got this plane mounted on a carriage with some beautiful little details here. Look, there's a little Star Wars Y-wing stuck on top. That's his remote control bomb, he tells us. Some giant turrets. Uh, nice use of tarpaulins. We've got two different tarpaulins, one on each of the end of the wings where they've been cut off. Some freehand, is that a freehand? We've got freehand tiger on there. One mean pussycat. Uh, some nice use of decals. A uh, nice bit of dirt and grime. This is surely a contender. And another lovely little detail. This guy popping out of here. I really wouldn't want to be him. <laughs> that looks far too dangerous a place to be holed up. But he seems to be enjoying it. Well done, Richard. And yet another first-time entrant. We have Stephen Griffith Orr, all the way from sunny, sunny USA. And look at this. This nuclear-themed diorama. This giant flying bomb that he scratch-built from a plastic toy egg. Uh, plastic card parts. Various bits of aeroplane model kit. And this wonderful underneath this... Suspension, scratch built suspension, he's built here. Um, very nicely done. Nice use of decals, clever use of decals. Need a little bit of tidying up on some of those paint lines, but really, that is the only minor point I can pick out of this. It's It looks lethal. It's a giant flying bomb, and that diorama really just sets it off. Nice work, Stephen. So a last minute entry here from two times Gas Sands Car of the Month winner, Tony Peacock. A simplistic build, but still classy like Tony always submits. Look at that, a scratch built radial engine in the front made out of beads. What a beautiful job he's done there. Some lovely metallic paintwork. You'd never know this was a plastic toy car, would you? Uh, we've got some holes in the side. Maybe there's something going to be going on there. If not, there's some little air intakes, I think. Um, Tony says he's not particularly happy with the paint job, he's going to redo it, but I still think this is a pretty solid build, uh, it looked good in, in any team, and I look forward to seeing what you do with it in the future, Tony, if you make any improvements. And our final entrant this month, also a first time comer to this game, is Scott Howland. 
uh, Scott's created us, Bad Betty, which seems to be a mashup of two vehicles, a truck and a bus sandwiched on top of each other with a lovely amount of manky rust going on there. Some guns sticking out the windows. Ooh, Bad Betty, Bam Balam. She's stuck on the side there. These, <laughs> these bombs, I mean, I like the bombs, but, you know, if they drop... I don't think this vehicle's going to get very far, but a nice little touch. It would have been great to have got a few more photos of your build, Scott, but what a great start in your first Gas Hands Car of the Month competition. And so it's time that we reveal who is the winner of July Gaslands UK Car of the Month, as chosen by Green Miniatures. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. And... It's Stephen Griffith! Oh, well done, Stephen. What a beautiful scratch build this was. Excellent work. Getting that egg to look like a death-dealing flying machine. This diorama, flashing LEDs, nuclear mushroom cloud, uh, and all based around Route 54, which, as I've been told, and as uh, Stephen educated us all is a main road running through the US very near where the nuclear testing grounds were uh, and what nuclear test congratulations you win that first place prize from green miniatures and so in second place we have David Bousset another beautiful job this Plymouth Superbird converted into a bomb towing ball turret mounted death dealer some some beautiful paintwork some lovely rust and mud very tidy paint job going on little dreamer we've got this little paint job on the side that looks like a free hand the crew the radial engine the vibrancy of the bomb the details on the chains and that lovely little sign at the back uh congratulations another first time entrant and a stunning job and last but no means least our third place winner this month is Richard Hubbard well done Richard this absolute beast is gonna tear up any Gaslands game some great work some great weathering um, so many different bits of vehicle all jammed together into this one behemoth some tight Little details with the, the tarpaulins and the extra crew. Uh, well deserved third place. Well done, Richard. So that's it, my friend, girls and boys, for this month. But what's in store? What have we got coming up? We've got some exciting developments. We've got a whole new range of Gaslands UK merchandise. So any of you getting your Christmas list together early, you can start planning that. Uh, some t-shirts, some sweatshirts, some socks, some stickers, uh, even a mug for your favourite hot beverage. So we're going to have a big announcement about that coming up soon. Looking forward to that. And then, of course, it's the August Car of the Month Challenge, where they let James Hall, the previous video maker and supposed gasland spiritual animal, I don't know what animal he would be, an owl, a mole, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what kind of animal. <laughs> Sorry, James. Sorry. So James is going to be let out of his cupboard, and he challenges you all to this August's challenge. And have we got a fiendish thief in store for you? So, it's going to be a big one. Come and join us at Gaslands UK Facebook group. And until next time... Goodbye, Wasteland.